Scott Brown here, in today's exciting episode we're going to talk about this mask and some other things and and I'm back in Auckland. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you might not know that I went to the South Island and did a Q&A while we were down there, as well as a cycle tour that was very difficult. Absolutely. Nice. Oh, watch out for the bridge. We're going a whopping 10 kilometers an hour. Our asses don't hurt just yet. Well, speak for yourself. But yeah, we did a Q&A, and uh, one of the questions I got on that Q&A, and one of the questions I get a lot, is what masks do I use? What masks are these in particular? This is one of the most common questions, the dust masks, the RZ masks are from Piranha Tools if you're in New Zealand, um, or search RZ masks if you're in New Zealand. As I said there, I got it from Piranha Tools, comes in this little bag here, little zippy zip zip, inside that bag you get the little mask, it's made of uh, sort of nylon kind of mesh I think. The see through, velcro at the back, it has a little metal pincher there that holds it to your nose, and these plastic filter things here that uh, go all the way through to the um, inside filter. Your nose like that, and your Velcro at the back. That's it. So the South Island trip was a lot of fun, and doing the Q&A was a lot of fun as well. But if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'll put the answers to the questions that people asked at the end of this video. This is the mask filters that you can buy separately when you um, buy the mask. It filters up to 99.9% .9 of all dust, air particulates, and pollution sized one micron or greater. I think that just means that it's an effective dust mask. Let's change the filter. So the mask bag comes with this little key here that's used for doing this. You unscrew, and then that just pops off and it has that little rubber thingy in there. So you don't always need to use that tool. I actually prefer just to use my, my fingers here. And just grab it and then twist and pop that off. Make sure you don't lose the little rubber. On the inside here, you just gotta pull that away. And then that is history. And this part's important, you've got to make sure that the grill is facing down. That's in, and then you turn. That is the RZ mask that you see us wearing all the time in the videos. Now this isn't the only mask I wear, I still have my normal respirator here. And I prefer to use this for like paint fumes and sanding, fine sanding. Cause you get that, you get that rubber seal there and it's a bit, a bit more, con oh, I need another one of these. Oh, it feels a bit more, um, a bit more convincing, but 80% of the time I use this. Now that I'm back from holiday, I've got to reload the van with all my tools. You guys know all about this one, so we won't take that one. We've already done a video on this one. You can watch it right here. So we won't take that one. So it leaves us with these two. Let's put these in the van. Now I don't have these because I'm some big time YouTuber. I actually reached out to the guys at DeWalt and asked if I could borrow this. So I'm only borrowing this. They haven't even seen my channel, you know. <laughs> so The Hikoki slash Hitachi that belongs to Cameron. I still owe him money for this, so I'm going to give him like 600 bucks for that one. The Airbows, um, they actually did give me those. And they, they gave me the compressor, they gave me two Airbows. And that's because I reached out to them originally, what, three months ago, four months ago? And asked if I could borrow their gun, I borrowed it, we put it on a video, they, they were surprised by the amount of attention it got. And then eventually I did that video a couple of weeks ago and that one got a lot of attention so they were happy to give us the guns, which is good of them. But I'd like to try these battery guns now and um, put them head to head. So maybe later on in this episode, but I've got to finish. 
packing my gear up here. Ah, uh, should be sweet. Okay, this weather is not the best. What is up, Cameron? What's happening? Got something you might be interested in, Cameron? Take a look at that, mate. I like it. Bit of a heavy beast, that thing, eh? It's pretty much like the Hitachi, isn't it? Yeah, well, it kind of ramps Wade up differently. I mean? It ramps up differently, I, I notice. I think you need to do what you do with the Hitachi. There's like a switch and stuff. Um, Might be wrong. Have a look. Let's, let's just... Ooh. Didn't go all the way in. Oh, maybe. I haven't set the dip adjustment. Mm. Ah, it's, it's loud, eh? Loud? Yeah. And it's got a funny rebound to it. I like the Hitachi uh, better. Yeah, already? <laughs> so the guy's already emailed me saying he wants it back at the end of the week, so... Oh, okay. I don't have it for very long. So I don't know if I'll have a full review. But your first impression is Hitachi. Yeah. Alright. I don't like the ramp up. Yeah. Yeah. As you can see, I've vacuumed my van here. <sighs> Cameron and I are getting ready to film the van off. Van vs van! Who will prevail? Who will win? Um, I got a lot of questions from Instagram, like I said at the start of the episode. Um, if you were on Instagram, you would have seen them. Um, I'm going to put them right at the end here. Cameron actually had a great question for me. <laughs> Maybe you can answer this one, Jess. I hope not. <laughs> Thanks for that. Thanks for that, Cameron. So that's been today's exciting episode. I'll, uh, I'll start putting the questions here for you to, um, no, I'll put them over here. I'll start putting the questions here for you to, uh, for you to watch. And I'll see you in the next exciting episode, which will be the van episode. Callum Dodds asks, how much longer do you plan on doing carpentry for? Well, um, I feel like my body will stop me before my mind does. I kind of want to do it indefinitely, but, um, that might change, who knows? Okay, part of New Zealand. I just realized how to do this, by the way. Um, Auckland, there's plenty of work in Auckland or Queenstown here because it's beautiful. Christchurch is good as well. Simply put, yes, uh, especially if you're doing renovations because it's hard to tell what kind of um, things you're going to find. And it can be better for both the customer and yourself. Less risk for both. That one there, S-Wing. S-Wing's a very good start. They're cheap. And um, as far as I know, they never break. Uh, the best part of running your own business is managing your own time. I don't really know much about American building practices, um, but check out Carpenter One Three or Finishing Carpentry TV on YouTube and RR Buildings as well. Check uh, no, I don't do the music, but in every video that I upload, there's a music in the description, um, and I always link it to the SoundCloud artist. So check it out. I've known Pardo since primary school, so that's five years old or something, and we went to every school together from there. And Pato went on holiday too. He went to Sri Lanka and um, he didn't get hurt. He's fine. And uh, he'll be back on the show very soon. He did get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he broke his finger, but that was at home. <laughs> <laughs>